Hello, I'm Peter Ross and welcome to the Power Saving Centre. We're at 133 Musgrove Street, North Rockhampton in Queensland. Our whole objective is to try and save you as the house owner energy on your power bills. And one of the highest energy users in a home is an electric hot water system. So today, I'm just going to go over a couple of options on how to combat that. Today we're going to talk about the solar hot water and how it heats up. How it heats up is through a panel. It's totally opposite to a photovoltaic solar power panel, which is one that you see up on a roof, which we also sell as well, but it's a silicon uh, product that produces electricity up on the roof. We're not talking about that at the moment. This is a convection oven that works with the sun. What happens, and I'll explain it in detail in a minute, what happens is you've got this glass that is a very low iron count, so it allows a lot of heat to pass through it. And underneath this glass, you've got an absorber plate that allows that heat to be transferred across to copper piping that has water in it from the day it's installed. Now when water heats up, it does an amazing thing. Its molecules all start speeding up like crazy and it takes up less space. So just like hot air, it rises. And just like when you're a child and you're swimming in a dam or in the swimming pool, the top of the, the pool will be warm, the bottom of it will be cold. That's because the molecules are tighter together. So cold water falls, hot water rises. Now, in both the principles of the roof mounted system and the ground mounted solar hot water systems, the principles still play a huge part in it. So once we've understood that principle, we come over here and look in, in, in a little bit more detail. This is your glass. The sun is passing its heat through that glass. Now it connects, or it goes through and it starts heating up this absorber plate. Now this absorber plate, when it absorbs as much temperature as it can, these arrows here are indicating that it's trying to get out and passing through the glass. But it can't because there's pyramids on the bottom of the glass. So that's your convection oven. Now once we've got an oven, what's it heating up? It's heating up water. So inside these copper pipes, is the water. So the water is getting the heat transferred from this absorber plate. Once it's hot, you, we just talked about how it rises to the top of the panel. We need to remember that for the next part. It's also insulated and it's encased in a full weatherproof casing up on the roof. We'll talk about how the tank works in a minute. 